Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video from Education Solutions. And in this clip today, I would like to show you how you can use a website called Kahoot, one of my favorite websites to use in the classroom, or you can even use it online if you're still teaching online. And uh, in this particular one here today, I'm gonna show you how you can use uh, Kahoot for, a, uh, for using it with a FIFA World Cup game in your classroom. So, uh, here's a, a quick look at this one, and I'll share the link down below in the description. So all you have to do is sign up for a for my newsletter that I send out, and you'll have access to all of the links to any of the games that I use in class or online. And this is, uh, once again, for the FIFA World Cup 2022 here. So first of all, you can preview all of the questions down here. And if you find something that you would like to change or something that you didn't really like, you would come over here to these three dots and you would actually edit them. I think that, ah, no, you'd actually just go in here to this pencil instead. So right in here, there we go. So you can edit your Kahoot and you can change up any one of these questions right here. There's 28 questions to choose from. So this, um, it goes rather quickly. It'll take probably 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how fast you go through the quiz with your students. And this is what it looks like if you were to preview this in your classroom. So your students would use a smartphone or a tablet to log in, or they could even do it on their laptops. But everyone would need a, need a device in the classroom. And you would start this up, you would start the game, and you would get a PIN number. In this case, it's 182-7710. They would type in the, the PIN right here, or they can use the QR code that's sitting up here, and click on Enter. And once they enter here, it's going to connect them up, and they'll put in their nickname or whatever name that you want them to use, and they'll hit OK Go. And then you'll see that your students will start to populate. So there's there's John right there. And once you have all of your students in the uh, in the Kahoot game, then you'll go ahead and hit Start. And this will start to cycle through all of the questions here. So what they have to do on their smartphones, they'll have options to choose from uh, uh, four different choices here. So this this is a former European champion from Portugal, Lionel Messi, David Beckham, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, or Ronaldinho. And if you don't know this one, it's Cristiano Ronaldo. So they would choose on their smartphones, they would tap this uh, yellowish circle here, and they would click on that one, and we would see that they got it right. So this will populate in here once we go to the next it will show a scoreboard and you'll see the top five students in your class who are coming up here and then once you're ready you can click on the, the next one here and we've got who is this argentinian wizard now let's say that we miss this one lionel messi lionel richie uh lionel hampton or lionel barrymore let's say that we think it's lionel richie right here okay and if somebody gets it wrong, it'll show the uh, the actual answer, and then it'll show how many people got the answer incorrect as well. And then you would see up here, I didn't get any points. So once it comes down to the very end, again, there's 28 questions, and I'm not going to go through all of these. Uh, a couple things to, to note here is that you can change up the point values. Um, you can encourage students to sit closer to the, the screen if you like. Um, and you can also, if you want to, you can even edit some of these questions here. So for example, if you were to come in here and click on this pen, this is going to give you the option once it opens up. So it's going to give you the option here. You can switch out any kind of picture that you would like. Uh, this is the, uh, the opening media right here that, that comes up. And this is probably just going slowly because I've got a very old computer. Okay, there we go. So you can change the question, you can change the answers right here, you can remove this picture. And I'm not going to do that because I've already taken the time to set everything up here. You can remove the picture, you can find another picture on Creative Commons or Unsplash, um, and, and you can add your, uh, your own pictures if you would like. And of course, change and change anything up that you would uh, that you'd want to change here. Now, I did in fact use this one uh, as we come down to the end here. So near the end, this one ever comes up. There we go. So Denmark will wear a black jersey to protest the deaths of which people in Qatar. So 
I actually lead this into another lesson that I have. And is again, why is the 2022 Qatar World Cup controversial? So um, I lead this into a, a reading activity for my students about why the 2022 Qatar World Cup is in fact controversial. And then I have my students actually write a summary about this. So it's, it's not just a one-off game here uh, to play, but it's also a, a good way to to lead your students into another activity as well. So once again, I'm going to post the link to this Kahoot activity uh, in the description to this video below. All I ask you to do is just to please sign up and also don't forget to like and subscribe to the video and to the channel. Thank you all very much and I'll see you in the next one. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.